<laughs> Hello folks, how are we all doing? So I decided to head up to Grey Mayor's Tail National Reserve Park and uh, we're just gonna head up there. There's a waterfall I believe there and I believe it's also a small hike. So I'm gonna grab my hiking boots just in case because I don't want injuries today. As you know, I've had that before. What a horrible experience, never again. So I walked out of the flat and the weather is absolutely gorgeous today. We have sunshine, it's so humid. I love this kind of weather. For some reason, I am attracted to humid weather when it's very, very dry also. The air kind of feels nice in my body. People are enjoying their life, they're having fun again. The social distancing is slowly getting taken away. So people are having fun and it's nice to see that happening. Obviously, society is going back to society. Just for the record, my journey is an hour and 27. Wow. Okay, so we need to blast this. So warm. And where are we? On to the Morway. Cannot breathe in this car. So I'm just built up to this heresy that I'm just gonna stop off and I just need to get a toilet. I'm bursting to the pee and I'm gonna get a drink. Boom. Got some snacks, got some water, I'm actually cooking. Folks, 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 we have arrived at the destination and it looks very beautiful, like the whole canyon is massive. It's a very steep climb, but you cannot beat the views for the, for the risk we're taking here. My view. Oof. It's like we're not in the Highlands anymore, we're in the South, but it's like the South, Southern Highlands. We came down to Dumfries and Galloway, and uh, this place is amazing. I spoke to one of the travellers just there, and he says it's absolutely gorgeous. One of the best places he's seen, and that has got me so fired up. Now that is what you call Scotland. According to history, these waterfalls actually have hawks sitting on top of them and they actually stalk their prey and once they've stalked their prey, they just dive bomb them both. Their prey is done, the eagle's got his food and he's serving it up on the waterfall to his little buddies. That's what happens in Scotland. No messing here. But it's not good. I was flying my drone and uh, I lost connection to it and now it's uh, crashed somewhere. But I have no idea where it is. <laughs> Oh, this is so bad. This is what like drone pilots go through on a daily basis. And look what it is down there. That little drone. I think it's a bit fucked though. <laughs> this is a lesson for me not to fly my drone too far out of my sight and into crevasses that I cannot able to get signal. Bollocks to this man. Okay, I've turned it off. Hopefully it recovers somehow and heals itself. I don't know how it does, but I can only pray and hope that my drone works again. And what have we learned today? Not to fly your drone into small crevasses where there'll be most likely very little GPS and for your drone to pick a signal to Oleg. That's what we've learned. I'm in love with Scotland. I can only imagine Scotland is similar to uh, New Zealand with regards to the mountains and the lakes. Um, I know that also New Zealand will have hotter weather, more brighter saturated colours on the lakes. You 
you can join me on my adventure and welcome you to stay and to be part of our little team community i'm just wondering if this may be our actual destination or just up there following this path all the way up to the top here i'm assuming that may be our destination because from from down here i can see what looks like a little path just weaving up to the top i'm just gonna follow this trail and see where it takes us i'm unsure of how long we've still got left to climb but i'm just hoping it's pretty soon actually what no way i don't think this is a climb or a hike i think it's a hike into this beautiful mysterious lake what no way this is magnificent i did not expect this when i started hiking here this is a beauty this place is made of fucking heaven people camping here a valley a valley of a big massive loch right in the middle slap bang for you to enjoy this shit makes my heart melt like wild is uh, animals, insects, little people talking just over the other side of the lake. It melts my heart honestly when I say this, um, being in the wild has made me feel like we are more part of something bigger and uh, we need to appreciate this kind of earth that we have or the mother earth we call I've been having a little bit of fun here on this lake, just practicing my drone because I've not had any, any kind of open space to just practice the, the drone in itself and piloting itself. Check out these little cool houses that were abandoned back in the day. They must have been little houses just by this beautiful river that's flowing by the side of us. And uh, I'm assuming that's where the residents must have lived in this little village just up in the mountains. Take a look at my legs. They've been absolutely destroyed by little shit called midges. I hate midges so much. We only get midges in the west of Scotland. I don't understand why they're down here in the south. What is going on? You can't be a waterfall, right? I've been eyeing up Iceland for a very, very long time. Uh, the Iceland landscapes are just something to die for. I've been wanting to go to Iceland for so many years now. Just never had the opportunity. Hello guys, don't be scared of me. I'm not gonna do anything to you. I'm a vegetarian. Hiya. Just reached my goal for 10,000 from my smartwatch in the steps. Very happy about that. Oh. Wow, it's so good to take your shoe out. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so glad that you have joined me on this adventure. If you have enjoyed yourself, please do stick around. I would appreciate that. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button, like button and the comment section below. If you have anything to say, we greatly appreciate it as well. And for now, I shall see you later.